Fall is almost here, which has us eager to spruce up our decor. But instead of running to the next home and decor store, why not enjoy the art of shopping in your own home, where every room becomes a treasure trove of design possibilities. Here to share his creative, budget-friendly tips is architectural designer. We have James Stanley. James, thanks for joining us this morning. Desiree, good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm liking this topic. So tell me, what's the concept behind going shopping in your own home when it comes to interior design? When I tell you, we all do this. We're familiar with this concept already, but we just got to change our lens a little bit. You know, when you go and you get dressed, I'm sure each day like I do, mm -hmm. you go into your closet, you look at your accessories and your fashion pieces, and you mix and match them and your accessories, and you're creating a whole new look and vibe without spending a dime. I want you to use that same thought process with your interiors. You can mix and match and move things around without really buying anything new and create a whole new vu and vibe. Okay, I like how you broke that down because I will be in my closet saying, I don't have anything. <laughs> and then I kind of mix and match some things and I got a whole new exactly. wardrobe. <laughs> so and, you're, and you're not running out and buying things every time, obviously, right? I'm, or I'm, if you are, I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I got some more working to do on that, but we're getting there. So tell us, what yeah, exactly. are some unexpected items from the kitchen that can be repurposed for some decor in the home? So I did a little summer fall tablescape here and I want to show you some examples like in this tablescape I pulled out a cake stand from my kitchen and I can tell you I use this cake stand all the time or a version of and you can use them to elevate things throughout your home. You can put it on your coffee table and elevate things, a <laughs> nightstand in your den. I do the same things with a teapot. I pulled out a kitchen teapot and I used it obviously to do this display of apples from a tablescape. And then we have this insane, uh, I can't even tell you how old this orange <laughs> juice pitcher is that I've had. And I use it for stacking bread, putting pasta in. I've even used it for flowers in the summertime on my coffee table. So you can really use kitchen items that you're not thinking about. Right. Oh, those aren't decor items and you can use them for decor. Okay, and I like it. It has a very nice, clean look to it. So what's your advice for people who are looking to add a touch of elegance, let's say to the bedroom without spending a fortune? Ah, so we're going to go back here and we're going to look at my, we're going to go back into the studio and I want you to see this kind of dark intimate area that we have. And I think the number one thing that you can do in your bedroom to spruce up your look without spending a dime is I want you to think about your linens, what linens you have and mixing and matching them. So here I'm a fan of a double duvet cover. So you know those fabulous magazine photos that we see where the beds all needed nice and fluffy and oversized. <laughs> Yes. What they're really doing, all they're doing is taking a double duvet, they're doubling it and making the cover. So I mm -hmm. want you to take a duvet cover that you have, right? And use that and then mix and match the color. So maybe take, we, here we have some whites and don't look at the wrinkles, they're a little wrinkles. <laughs> but we have some whites and we have some blacks and I want you to, whatever colors you have, I want you to use them in your linens mm -hmm. and switch the colors around and incorporate both. And then some great, uh, some great shams. So use some great shams or reverse them and this way you've created a whole new linen look and you haven't spent a dime. Okay, and that's these are the tips I need. Can you give us some examples right? of items that can easily transition from the living room to other spaces? Of course. So let me show you some of my tricks. I really I really do this all the time. I cannot tell you how I turn this upside down from where we're standing and switch it around. I don't buy anything new, I just switch everything around. So let's take our coffee table accessories. So this is our coffee table in the studio and I cannot tell you how many times I take these candlesticks and I put them on the dining room table. I take this little guy and he goes on my nightstand next to my bed sometimes. And one of my favorite things to do, really big tip here, is I take these memento items, that's actually a grandfather's pocket oh. watch, a dad's lighter, et cetera, and instead of having them in a drawer, you know how we mm -hmm. all have those mementos mm -hmm. sitting in a drawer, I want you to display them. Put it, Get a trinket box, some kind of box or bowl that you like, and put them out so people can see them. And I guarantee you, it'll put a smile on your face every time you look down. I love that, just to have that sentimental touch to your home as well. James, we need to have you come over here, Absolutely. maybe redecorate my home, <laughs> redecorate the studio. I'm down, I'm down, <laughs> hook it up, yes. All right, we will. James, <laughs> such a pleasure having you on. I hope we get you back on again for some more tips. You can find out more by going to jamesstanleyny.com.